Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting international craft beers with Dr. Dave. Oh, very good indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights. Today we have one from halfway around the world that's sure to please me, baby. See, I was smiling already. Yeah, the Petrus Brarai. Or I think it's called the Brasserie. The Brasserie. Yeah, in Belgium they call it Brasserie. This is the Aged Red Ale. I want to tell you something. This beer is aged in oak barrels for two years. Yeah, and got some cherries in it as well. It's not for the faint of heart, though. It checks in at 8.5% alcohol by volume. Doesn't really matter what the date stamp is, baby. This beer will keep for a long time. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to drink it 20 years from now. But for our intents and purposes, it's just perfect, baby. It is an international bottle, by the way, so that means it's 11.2 ounces here in the States. For everybody else in the world, it's 330 milliliters. When we United States convert to metrics, <laughs> I don't predict anytime soon. People in the United States hate mathematics. I can tell you all about that. Not in this video, though. All right, let me get my dollar, my Susan B. Anthony dollar, and my bottle opener that I put between the cap and the bottle opener. That way I can keep it from having dents and dings, and it looks very nice on my refrigerator. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had those. I have a Petrus glass. I could not find it. I'm wondering if I gave it away. I gave away a couple sets of glasses, so I washed out this tulip glass. The, the Petrus glass was a little bit smaller than this. Uh, it was perfect. It was 0.33 uh, centiliters. Oh, man, look at that beer. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can smell the cherry right from here. I don't have to get any closer. I smell those cherries. Whew. Fine beer from Belgium. I tell you what, has anybody ever had a beer from Belgium that they didn't like? I'm not going to quite fit that all in there, but it's okay. Man, there's hardly any daylight in here because it's, it's just been bloody uh, snowing all week. If you put this over here, and now I have some neon and some LEDs on over here, but uh, hardly any daylight. Now, at the very bottom and on the sides, you can see a little bit of red, but I think that if you put it over here, you'd have to say that's pretty darn dark, and <laughs> there's no color to it at all, baby. Yeah, it's made a very thick, a very thick tan-colored head. Now, we might fit the rest of this in here. By the way, I have a temperature probe that I found a few days ago, so let me turn this on. And let's go ahead and get the reading here. We'll let that sit in there a minute. And uh, I will tell you that Petrus makes some of the finest beers in Belgium. Oh, they really do. Uh, about three or four years ago, I got a Petrus gift set from uh, a co-worker, and that was killer. That's where I got the glassware from. So I don't know. Uh, I don't remember breaking that glass. Uh, and I don't think I'd give it away because I only had one. The glass glassware that I gave away, I had multiple sets of. So I don't know where that uh, glass went to. All right, it's settled down. It's not moving anymore. It's 50.6. I think that's about the right temperature to drink this beer. Oh, it smells lovely. Oh, my God. Those cherries are in there, and then you get these malts. Oh, my God. And then you can smell that oak. Hey, without further ado, cheers to the brewers at Peaches, and cheers to you at home for watching. <laughs> lovely. It's lovely. The one thing here about Petrus 
ales, all Petra's ales, they're high alcohol, but there's no trace of the alcohol in any of the beers, and this is no exception. Mm. Man, those cherries. Now, um, I can't remember who brews that uh, beer here in the United States. It's Mad Elf. That That is uh, too sour for me. Those cherries are sour. This is more of a sweet sour. Very, very sweet up front. And then as it lingers on your palate, it becomes sour. But that sweetness up front does it for me. Man, this is good. <laughs> and this is the perfect day to have it, too. It's so bloody cold outside. It's unbelievable. But we, we had a, uh, a very light winter so far. So uh, let's get it right up there so everybody can see it. The Petrus. It's Asian oak barrels for two years, eight and a half percent, baby. This is the beer you want to drink right here. That's the beer you want to drink. Uh, did I say, did, I think I, I tried to pronounce the city it was from, uh, Bavikov, I believe is how you pronounce it, Bavikov, Belgium. If I mispronounced that, I'm terribly sorry. I don't have any uh, Belgium uh, friends that can help me with that. Uh, cheers to that, too. This is a sipping beer. Mm, man, is that good. <laughs> mm, this is a sipping beer. Full body beer. This would go with a variety of foods. This would really good, go well with a uh, steak dinner. But I would not want to spoil the flavor of this beer with any food. I would recommend that uh, you use this as an aperitif or a digestif. I wouldn't drink this with food. Man. You gotta have this beer all by itself. You don't want to. You don't want anything to get in the way of the lovely flavors of this beer. Oh my God! I wish I had a couple more of these. <laughs> this is not cheap though. This this beer is not inexpensive. You're gonna pay a few bucks for it, but it's well worth every penny. Hey, my friends, I'm telling you, Dr. Dave says life is short. You should enjoy great craft beers like this one from Belgium because you're you're not uh, you're not gonna get any beer like this too often in life. Cheers to that, baby. Okay, everyone, as promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry, I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now I think they, they charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated. And if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers. Uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less 
Uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club. So I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a VacuVin, VacuVin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Dave's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me fourteen ninety eight to uh to have those made, so I would sell them at the same price now I don't know the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back so but I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested but uh like I said, I don't get any money off these links. there's no affiliate uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.